What's up guys? So the Galaxy Fold, finally shipped to reviewers this week. Years in the making, the first of its kind, the Fold was expected to be the spark that reignited the stagnating mobile market. Samsung has said it plans to make at least 1 million Fold handsets, versus the total 300 million phones it produces annually. It has closed Fold pre-orders due to high demand. It may have some big problems. Several tech outlets have mentioned issues with the device after only days of use. These aren't the kinds of software bugs that could be addressed in a day one patch, either. These are certifiable deal breakers. Now that the Galaxy Fold is on hold, Samsung should wait for Android Q. The affected phones may simply be part of an unfortunate minority of faulty pre-production units, but with one week left before the Galaxy Fold is released to the general public, it's a worrying development. Let's look at what's happened so far. As you hear in the statement, the South Korean company plans to strengthen the display protection and implement measure to ensure customers are fully aware of the protective layer covering the screen. To reduce problems related to the screen protector, Samsung can only make sure this do not remove messages abundantly clear on the Galaxy Fold's packaging. If it learns there is a deeper screen related problem, it's going to have to take more serious measures. I think as time goes on its yield rate will improve, and foldables that customers have in hand will be much better, said analyst Lee Kyu Hatanh Investment and Securities. But I don't know if Samsung can completely fix the problem about screens. 